guys, Ashley here. Today we are going to do a little plan with me inside of my dashboard layout planner. And I am going to be using these new floral stickers that come in the Be Happy box, which I'm so excited. So the Happy Planner sent me a squad box and inside of that squad box had this Be Happy box, which is the one for their fifth, um, fifth year anniversary, five year anniversary is a better way to say that, for their five year anniversary. So I knew, um, instantly that I had to do this. I actually knew that they were sending me this, so I was waiting to do the dashboard layout until I got these stickers, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, I've actually been operating off of my pre-planning sheet. So I actually have a video up on my YouTube channel that um, I'll try to link it down below in the description box, but it is my pre-planning process. And this is the sheet that I've been using for that. So I've been using this to kind of guide me through the week here. I mean, it's only Tuesday, so it's not, <laughs> we're not that too far in. And then I also use this Get Social sheet to um, plan out my social media. And basically I do this every week anyways. Um, this is how I pre-plan, this is how I plan out my social, and then I just take everything from here and transfer it in so it's not that big of a deal. But I'm glad to be decorating this. I'm actually going to use the planning guides. I love these things. If you don't have them yet, I highly recommend them. Um, if you get them, make sure you use the rougher side. So one side of them is like real slick. Your stickers will stick to that and they're, they're not impossible to get off, but um, it is a little harder to get off. So use kind of the rougher side of it. So love this. Let's see, do I have this upside down? I have this on the wrong side. Let's retry that. Yes, and then this one goes over here. Okay, that looks better. Um, something else that's another video that's going to be coming up soon is an updated um, kind of setup video where I want to show you guys some things that I've changed in here. And we're also going to be putting on these black metal discs. You guys, I'm so stoked for these. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so incredibly happy that they made those black metal discs. So those will be going on here soon too. But for now, we got to get into these floral stickers and... Um, we are going to plan this out. So I'm kind of going to use this as a guide to see what I have going on to kind of help me place stickers. Let's actually start with the functional one. And I'm going to look for something to like flags or dots or something. I don't remember there was some in here or not. There's cute little hearts. That could work. There's check marks, smiley faces. Okay, let's do the hearts. Um, I'm not gonna place all of these down. I just wanna place one here. Actually, let's just place them down. These are going to be for my Instagram post, and then I'm gonna have my YouTube schedule here in this block. I am currently posting, trying to post twice a day. I can't say that I'm perfect at it, but I'm currently posting twice a day, and I've just been writing both of the posts that I'm doing on one line, and that's been kind of helpful. So there's that, and I know that today, is my kiddo's playing with his Legos too. So if you hear that, it's all of his Legos he's dumping out. Um, I know that today is Tuesday and it's filming day and I really wanna use the hexagons. Let me see something real quick though. Those circles are cute too. And the boxes. Okay, well, we're definitely going to take these two boxes and we'll cover that up there. And then I think I want to use this one right here. And then I'll put another one down for Sunday because um, usually on the weekend, usually on Sunday is whenever I... Um, pre-plan my week. 
sometime during the weekend. Not always Sunday, but I always just put it down on Sunday. Sometimes it happens Saturday. Um, really no rhyme or reason there. Let's get into the floral sticker book and see what kind of cute little decorations we can find in here. Cute little decor. I'm definitely going to be using some of these florals and the quotes. I am trying to kind of walk you guys through my process, my thought process, why I'm doing what I'm doing. That way you guys understand. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? These are cute. Let's actually do these ones up here instead. See, these ones got the little dots on them. Those are really cute. We'll actually do that. Okay. I'm just going to set these over here to the side. And when I go back into that other sticker book, I'll put them up. This one's really super cute. I think this would be cute to have like top three for the week. Maybe we'll kind of set that there for right now. So I'm going to use, I like this one. This says, um, joy is the beauty that blooms from a heart of gratitude. So I think I'm going to use this one to kind of cover up that focus one. And then maybe like a little quote there with that. That'll be cute. On these two pages, there are some smaller ones. This would be really cute over here on this side. Maybe if we take something like that. And then I think I'm going to use this one like right here. Do you like that? Well, I don't know if I like it. This is why I love these planning guys. You can kind of move things around. Actually, maybe we'll layer those two right there. Oh my goodness, that sounds like it's a mess. I don't even know if y'all can hear it. <laughs> another hexagon over here like that maybe that'll cover up that part okay this is super cute and it's got the heart on it so longer and we'll put that up there and then I'll just write in it like YouTube schedule I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not liking what's happening over here I am loving this black and white spread though how could I change this? What could I change? I wonder what this would look like. Maybe we do that one there with this on this side of it. And then if we move this one. maybe put the hexagon like one here let me get another one one there one there is that too much pull this up a bit this I think I said this earlier but this is why I love the planning guides we can kind of cover that up with that sticker okay I'm liking that better this one's really cute it says you've got this kind of cover that up let's do some more Florals. So on Monday and on Thursday, I have team calls. So I'm a health and fitness coach, and twice a week, I hop on a Zoom call with with my girls. And on Monday nights, we talk fitness, nutrition, that kind of thing. On Thursday nights, we plan together. We have a planner sesh together. So I want to. 
<clears throat> find something to note that. I think what I'm going to do is these solid black hearts. The hearts are white, but the what if I do one there and then also on Thursday. And then over here, these two, they just become general checklist. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do what I'm going to do down here. If these are my top three, I don't know. I'm sure I'll find something I can write inside of there. We'll make it work. Um, I'm just looking now at my pre-planning sheet, kind of seeing what I have going on. Okay, let's put a few more florals down. In some places. This one's cute. On Saturday and Sunday, I don't do too much as far as social media or coaching goes. So I thought about taking one of these bigger ones, but I think I want to wait to do that. Okay, let's, let's start putting down stickers and then we'll kind of go from there as far as if I add any other elements to it. I want to use all the things, but I still, that's loud. I still need this to be functional. This is kind of, I decorate this for sure, but I still want it to be functional. So let's add these and then I'll kind of go from there and see, see how I'm feeling. Normally to cover this up, I'm not using a clear sticker, so I don't need to. The sticker will cover it up, but normally I just use white out here. I may have to just a little bit. Yep, a little bit on the sides. <laughs> this little polka dot of one is so cute. I like leaving a little bit of space in between the two, between all three of them actually. This one here that says calls and emails, I will put white out on it. Because I'm using a clear sticker and you'll be able to see that right through there. You can still see the white out through the clear stickers, but it's really not that prominent unless you're like searching for it. I like to cover up these because I don't use these for errands or to buy. Let me show you guys too a trick that I do with these clear pages, like the pages that have all the clear stickers in them. I like to get a hold of that backing and take it off of there. 
because if I go to stick this clear sticker back down and get stuck on this, I usually end up ripping it trying to get it out. So I like to just take this off. You really don't need it anyways. But this lets you put stickers back on there. So make sure you get all your stickers off of it and onto the sheet. I think I want to use a bigger one up top, up here. tip for you guys I like to take a, a card you can use a disc it doesn't really matter and for the clear stickers can you guys see is that gonna focus hello okay you guys might not be able to tell but you know how they don't they're clear but they don't look clear like it looks like there's bubbles like really you can only you can only see this um I just like to take this and kind of run over top the clear ones it makes them a little more clear if that's possible but you get what I'm saying I think I hope also don't do this unless you're 100% for sure that you want the stickers where they're at because if you do this these things are not coming up without ripping something something's gonna get tore up so just a word word of caution there but I, it's just a personal preference thing. Y'all don't have to do this. It's definitely not a requirement by any means. It's just something something that I do and I'm trying to show you guys all the things. Also, if you have it, a clear one laying over top of another sticker, kind of doing that makes that other sticker kind of pop through as if that clear isn't really on there. There we go. Okay, so that is going to be my dashboard layout for this week. Make sure you guys are following me over on Instagram so y'all can see an after the pin spread. I do have some videos coming up in the future too where I'm gonna actually fill in my planner with you guys, so we will do that in the future. Um, for now, this is just a regular plan with me. I had to dive into these, uh, these florals. They're gorgeous. I love black and white spreads. Um, one of my favorites. I'm so glad that we now have like books that are just black and white. It's going to be so helpful whenever we're reaching for those kind of stickers and we're not trying to remember um, where to go or what stickers have them in there, which most of the time we know, right? But sometimes I do lose my stickers and I don't know where things are at. <laughs> but these are the two sticker books that I used. Um, they're from the Newbie Happy Box, which was for the Happy Planner's five year anniversary. Absolutely love them. Congrats to the Happy Planner for five years. Um, may they go on forever and ever and ever. Amen. Because I love all things Happy Planner. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video.